hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is Kami with you and in today's video I wanted to share with you my completed pages these are I think I didn't color anything in September I believe uh, but I did color in October and uh, November so let's start uh, with the, this book daydreams by Hannah Carlson and I did this uh, background uh, with watercolors this is white nights granulating one and then i did the bird also i believe uh, i guess it's not watercolor but maybe mixed with the watercolor pencils or something like that but the background is uh, watercolor uh, by white nights and then some gel pen on uh, top of this uh, bird and some on the wings just to give some effect so yeah it was uh, quite easy to do and also it was like an experiment uh, next one i will show you my rita berman's uh, coloring books this one i believe is uh, the spring one i think so i did this page again um, this is like experimenting the background i did use watercolor and mixed with uh, some i think this is uh, interference colors in the background with some oxide black for granulation and then i just shade the um, the butterfly uh, with the pencils but the, i base it with the watercolor the butterfly so it was also again experiment and also quite easy to do next one is uh, the summer one and i did here this page uh, i'm still working on this side on the right side uh, but the background uh, again i did the experiment and here as well the background experimental and i based the flowers and butterfly with the watercolor actually and i gave some shading with the prismacolor pencils so I think it didn't turn out uh, bad. I think it's okay. Next one is from the Europe uh, book. And this page, again, a lot of uh, uh, watercolor backgrounds I did uh, last month. So yeah, this one is, um, again, uh, watercolor in the background. And yeah, the flowers done with the I don't even uh, remember. I think it was um, Prisma colors or something like that. I cannot recall, to be honest. Um, yeah, I should write it down actually what I used. So yeah, the the nice thing about these books that I like, uh, as you can see, they don't bleed. So this quality book is uh, really really nice for watercolor. I like uh, Joanna Bassworth's coloring book and Rita Berman's for that. So this one I have filmed and this is still a work in progress. So this is the Samarkand uh, page that I did film and completed. And overall, I like the page. It's not bad, I think. Well, I, I would have done different uh, moon, a little bit lighter maybe. This is kind of a more in going in the violet side, but I, I wanted something more of a lighter pink but it turned out like that so yeah overall it's okay and again i'm gonna show you the background it's a little bit buckling but nothing bled through and i'm fine with the buckling it doesn't bother me uh, if it is then i could just iron it and it will be flat again so yeah this is from the asian one now i'm going to show you uh, joanna basford's coloring books that i completed so this is Magical Jungle and I like this book and the illustrations I love. The only issue I have, this is an American uh, version, US version and the binding was glued and when it was new it started falling apart because I think I used watercolor so that's the reason. So this is work in progress. So I did this butterfly and so as you can see the background with acrylic paint black color and then watercolor again 
uh, for the butterfly and then I uh, did use my Rembrandt um, uh, what's it called Rembrandt chameleon so what you see that shining reflecting this is a Rembrandt chameleon watercolor paints so yeah and then I splashed some of the leftover paints on the background as well so yeah I am a bit sad because in the same time I want to color in this book more but this because it's falling apart it's kind of I don't know but I, I'll continue because my aim is to complete this uh, book uh, the next one is in and I did show uh, some partial coloring on my channel I did a video where I'm coloring this part of the page but I completed the rest of it I used uh, Prismacolors for this uh, three uh, circles but for that one I mixed it a little bit with the um, Durban Chromaflow but with these I didn't have much patience so I just used uh, Prismacolor only so I hope it didn't turn out that bad I think it's okay and the next one again by Joanna Basswood in Lost Ocean again as I said I did a lot of experimenting with watercolors and yeah this is how it turned out the page the background again some violet purple color which I don't recall which one is it I mixed it with oxide black by Van Gogh again for granulation and then I added some um, golden ink that I have and then I colored this um, I believe just a very cheap uh, watercolor um, pencils I believe maybe I mixed it a little bit with the Durban ink tins I could not recall right now but yeah I hope it turned out okay and also these uh, with gold you see here it's also I believe uh, ink as well from the looks of it so yeah and I'll show you the back of this page also so as you can see where is the ink it's definitely bled and also some of the watercolor as well because I pour a lot of watercolor but this is not UK version again this is US version so the paper is the same as in the magical jungle so I would be careful however the binding still holds I, th I think I can create something similar color uh, combination maybe I'll add some yellow and purple so it, it will be fine I'm not too worried about it the next book is circle of life by Melpa Mini and I would not dare to pronounce her last name because I don't want to butcher it a little bit um, feedback I think I'm having some of uh, oxidation here I don't know if you can see also in the paper itself uh, I don't know if it's showing on the camera or not you see in the top is kind of yellowish turning I don't know anyways I don't mind it um, just I thought maybe you have the similar thing is going on some of my books like that I don't know is it from the paper or I don't know so I have little bit bleed through here because I used water uh, pens so this is the uh, the book that is not friendly at all with watercolors I did again background experimental and as you can see it has some dots so overall the paper it's okay with the pencils but it's not great with watercolor because as you can see these dots are because of the paper but for the rest I used um, Ohuhu uh, water pens I think they are called I'm not sure this is like you know do, uh, double sided so I used those and I believe I used uh, here also yeah overall i think for all i used that and i added some uh, posca pen for the waterfall and water so yeah and i little bit used stickles on the birds because i believe this is uh, what is it called uh the tiny uh, birds i think it's called 
hummingbird i'm not sure something like that so yeah so yeah i'll be careful i won't use again oh uh, this water-based pens uh that much because um yeah it can bleed so i'm gonna use it maybe on one-sided uh, books like for example metagraphic something like that so yeah next one is uh, worlds within worlds by kirby rosanis this is the same paper as in in the circle of life because the printing company also the same it's a loam art so they it's the same so as you can see again uh, in my watercolor background this is experimenting so i have these dots as you can see and this was a little bit buckled and i wanted to straighten out this page so i kept it under um, lots of books so that's why it's quite straight otherwise you can see here i have some buckling already when i applied the watercolor so this is unintentional but it looks uh nice to me fun so yeah and then uh the background of the globe itself was done with watercolor but i didn't like it so i went um with pencils with prismacolor pencils to do the background so yeah this is how it turned out and this side i believe also this one says oh -ho -ho also but maybe because it's brown it doesn't have much i don't know no it's a little bit bled through as you can see so that's a oh -ho -ho. little bit there but uh, it's not that much damaging to this side of the page so i think i can use some um, another paint maybe acrylic paint or something like that and i can cover that up so it's not a big issue but for the next time i will know that not to use the uh, water-based pens last but not least is um, game of thrones official book um, this is by hbo uh, based on the tv uh, series on the tv show and i did this uh, maybe per maybe perhaps you have seen it it was a work in progress so i finally <laughs> finished the winter fell and i struggled a lot with this sky trying to create um i don't know some like a winter first i was going for the bright blue sky and then i decided to go with uh, some kind of you know more of a like stormy uh, weather but it turned out like that there is a lot of layers of mediums like uh, acrylic paint gouache and everything maybe even watercolor but at last i ended up using um van gogh um, oil pastels and i think it's not bad if you look from the distance i think it's not bad so this is how it looks like close up so lots of things going on yeah and i cannot blend that because it's on top of so many things and uh, this side i believe it's done with watercolor because this paper is perfect for watercolor and then again the uh the bushes also with watercolor and uh this part of the building the, the full building actually the castle or keep is uh, done with um, i believe mostly with the derwent uh drawing now for the sigil uh, of the um, starks i did use some oh -ho -ho again and uh black posca i believe that one and some silver uh, gel pen i believe or maybe posca and then i didn't want to do this uh, frame here it was going to take me well i thought it will take me a long time so i decided to apply uh, because it's a frame i decided to apply um, masking tape which is not really well uh, attached to it and then i tried to use some glue to stick it but not everywhere so some places it's going up and then i did little bit mess up here i don't know it's showing or not but it's like this yeah so i think it's not bad um but yes next time i won't use uh, uh washi tape 
Uh, I'm gonna use something else, maybe ink or paint, something like that. Yeah, that was all. Thank you very much for watching. And I just recently hit uh, 1,000 subscribers. So I want to thank everyone who subscribed, uh, my old subscribers and uh, newcomers. So you are welcome. Uh, hopefully, um, this channel will be useful to you in any way. Hopefully, if you have any questions, let me know. Also, I wanted to say thanks so much for everyone who leaves lovely and kind comments. Uh, that really uh, cheers me up a lot. So thank you so much, uh, everyone, for your kindness. So yeah, that was all. Um, have a great weekend ahead. Bye.